Are you looking for a curing station that can, can just kind of fit any need that's not stuck to a wash and cure station and is a little bit simpler and something that you can put away? Well, join me today as we take a look at the Fungdo Do-It-Yourself Cure Set. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, as I said, we are going to talk about this handy dandy curing station by Fungdo. It is a do-it-yourself assembly curing station that is kind of a really cool little tool to have in the shop. Um, I bought this one because that's been my bottleneck is the curing process. So this is a zip close curing station with basically thermal silver reflected material inside with three strips of LED curing lights. So Mike, why this? Why not a big enclosed curing station, something like this? So one, let's talk price point. The price point on this one is $89 sold on Amazon. It is a do-it-yourself kit. You put the frame together, you put the frame in, there's a transparent bottom, and there's no turntable, so which is a little different. And why this? Well, one, I love the size. It's 350 millimeter by 350 millimeter by 350 millimeter. So it's a very good, thick size. Now, if you've been watching me over on Instagram at Rise3D Printing or TikTok and seeing some of the stuff that's getting posted, you guys can tell I'm doing some rather huge resin prints. And I run into a problem with this, with the AnyCubic Plus uh, wash and cure station or the Mercury cure station that you guys have seen on the channel that I use in everyday practice, is that some of the parts, for example, like this, Thor's cape, this isn't gonna sit on the plate and spin. It's gonna get stuck, which is gonna scrape as that plate spins underneath it. And it's just not gonna get cured well. And that's problematic because big pieces like this, I need to cure as quickly as possible. So that's where this $89 little purchase comes in. And basically I take it, I pop it in because the LEDs are wrapped all the way around underneath, over the top and comes up the back. It's completely reflected material on the inside. And with three separate strips of LEDs, they've done a really neat wiring job as the wires pull through. I've got a nice dimming switch. I'll turn that on. And there we go. That's curing. It's sitting there. I'm not getting the scrapes of the turntable. I'm not having to try to wedge it in there to try to keep it standing up without a turn plate in there and having to flip it multiple times. I'm able to cure this quickly. So that's one of the key things that I like about this. And one of the things we'll hop to next is the assembly that I did on live stream. Um, back on November 8th when I impromptubly put this together because we were having problems. So um, hop back to that, but before we kind of hop into that little time lapse, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button as we talk about all kinds of things, 3D printing and all that kind of fun jazz and get kind of stuff moving forward with 3D printing. So make sure you subscribe if you are here and enjoying the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. That interaction helps us out a ton. And if you got any questions about 3D printing or anything like that, leave it down in the comments below and let us know. So let's hop over to the time lapse of this being put together from the stream, and then we'll get an in close up video look um, at the wiring, the connector, the switch, and basically just this awesome curing station that is really nice because, like I said, if you put it together with the LED strips under the wireframe, you can take the frame out, take it apart store this away. You don't have a big bulky carrying station sitting around on your bench. I want it on my bench because I'm having a bottleneck right now really badly of curing in my shop uh, because I'm producing stuff left and right and I'm producing big stuff. And what do I mean by big stuff? Well, I mean, I've got the frozen Megasonic 8K going like crazy. So these are two separate pieces, but you can see these are huge. And for most of the wash and cure stations out there or curing stations, this isn't gonna fit very well in there. And that's where I'm running into the problem is I've got really big, like 400 millimeter parts that I can't cure very well. So if you're just doing itty bitty little miniatures or you have a lot of stuff, it still works well for you in that regard too. But for us guys that are going big, we need the, bit, we need the bigger printer. Cause like I said, I'm running the Mega 8K with uh, Frozen's 8K um, aqua gray resin, which does a really fantastic job in these 8K printers, a very great high grabbing detail resin. So definitely give that a try. But this carrying station, it just makes it easier for me with the big parts. And that's why I really like this. The price point is not bad at all at $90. And it's, you know, it's very lightweight, very easily moved, stored, and just kind of one of those things. It's, it's functional. So 
that's kind of keep in mind. This is a very nice casing. It's very tough, very thick. It Velcros to the stand, but enough talk about that. Let's hop over, look at the time, let's put it together. I'll give some up close video, video footage of this as well, and then we'll catch you back up at the end. That's the video. So the Fungdo do-it-yourself curing station. I like it. Um, during the assembly, I didn't like it all that much, but once I had it assembled, once I kind of figured out what I should do the next time if I buy another one of these with the LEDs not underneath the poles instead of on top and just kind of changing how I did it. Cause like I said, I put this together at the spur of the moment. It wasn't planned. Um, so I'm pretty sure I did some stuff wrong. I did, and the plexiglass inside, 
I did break it, but that was me. That wasn't the material. So um, I do love that the lighting comes out into three separate and connects in. Um, holding onto this, I'm not feeling any heat, which is what I would expect um, if it was bad wiring. Um, the AC adapter works great. You can bypass the switch if you want it to have it full on full time, um, which I have it on maximum right now. Um, and it's one of those things like these bigger prints, I may leave it in there for about half an hour and let it get a good cure. Um, and I've tested it I, with my 8K prints. I put a few in there and they cured up great. So definitely very pleased with this. Um, it's definitely gonna help me save some time because um, now that gives me one, two, three curing stations now. Um, but I have the Mega, I have the Anycubic Wash and Cure Plus. Sometimes those are in washing stations where this is just a pure um, curing station and can keep moving through. And these bigger parts are definitely going to be a blessing um, having that space in there just to get stuff in there and let it go. So definitely a great one. So check out the link in the description for this over on Amazon. I do appreciate you if you use the link. It is an affiliate link. It does help the channel out. If you're curious about joining the channel and helping support us, go over and join our Patreon. And also, as always, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join us as we do all kinds of stuff, 3D printing. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys next week.